All right, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Nez's Nook. So I'm doing another five books you need to read video because you guys seem to really love these. I'm just gonna go right into it. I'm gonna start with the book I read last because it's fresh in my brain, but it is Every Summer After, Carly Fortune. You guys probably remember this from my haul video. I bought it because it had the Emily Henry endorsement on the front. It says, a radiant debut. So this is Carly's first book. So I actually read People We Meet on Vacation right before this and they both do like the the back and forth like 10 summers ago now, nine, eight, seven, you know, like going back and forth between the years. Um, so the setup was very much similar. This actually takes place in Canada, which is cool because Crawford's Canadian. So this is about Persephone Fraser, but her close friends call her Percy. Her parents decide that they want to spend summers like on a lake away from the city because she's a city girl. And so when she's 13, they buy a cottage in this really small town on a lake. In the cottage next door to them, there's the Floric family. There's two boys, Sam and Charlie, and they live with their mom. And their mom runs like the restaurant in town. Like it's a very small town and her restaurant is like the go-to. And long story short, her and Sam become inseparable best of friends then something happens and they don't speak for 12 years and that's all i'm gonna say about that it is a romance and if you like emily henry there's no way you won't like this book if you read this let me know but i loved it so speaking of emily henry i read people we meet on vacation it is about poppy and alex right they meet in college they are opposites you know, she's like, there's no way, like, who is this kid? There's no way we're going to be friends. And they end up becoming the best of friends. And they basically decide to take a trip together every year. Um, and they're apart. She's in New York and he stays back home in their hometown. But every year they decide to go on this, like, one trip together. So for 10 years, they take 10 trips together. And then something happens and they don't speak for two years. And, you know, Poppy really misses him, so she basically makes this plan that she's gonna ask him to go on this trip with her for work to try and mend their, their friendship. Definitely read this if this is your thing, if romance, cheesy romance is your thing. Um, I literally finished this in like a day and a half because I could not put it down. If you guys have read this, let me know what you give it. Um, if you loved it, if you didn't love it, I really loved it. The next book is Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson. Um, this was, I think, in one of my haul videos. I don't remember. I love this. I will say it was a slow read for me, the beginning, which is why I paused it at one point. I actually stopped reading this book to read another book. So it's about these two siblings, Byron and Benny. Their mom has just passed away, Miss Eleanor Bennett, and they come together to basically watch this video that she made for them and it's a long video and so like of the chapters are basically them like going through going through this confession mm -hmm. um it's scandalous she basically has this big confession big secret that she's been holding her entire life and her kids are about to find out what that is the whole fun of this book is like being like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? What is she gonna say next? Like, what? And yeah, it's about her life in the Caribbean and just this life that they didn't know about, but it's way more than that. So yeah, I loved this book. At first, I was not sure about it because it was a slow read for me, but I ended up loving it. And this made me crave the cake in this book so bad. So if anyone knows how to make this cake, you let me know. So next book is The Hotel Nantucket by Ellen Hildebrand. It's great. I know that all her, now that I've dove in into this author, I know that all of her books have something to do with Nantucket. It's like basically like her, it's her muse. Like now this book threw me for a loop. I called Crawford when I was reading it because I was like, this is not what I thought it was gonna be. So it's about Miss Lisbeth Keaton who's been dating this guy, uh, he has an affair, they've been running this restaurant together for years, and then he has an affair um, with one of their like wine connoisseur, I don't, I don't even know. But she breaks up with him and she's basically looking for a new start. She sees that there's an 
opening for a hotel manager position. Um, so the Hotel Nantucket is a hotel that's been there for forever, like for I think hundreds of years, right? And this billionaire decides to buy it and he's renovating it and it's like the talk of the town. And there's this blog, there's so much about this book now that I'm saying it out loud. There's this blog, um, it's basically like the gossip girl of like hotel reviews, right? No one knows who she is but she basically will like anonymously go and to these hotels and instead of rating these hotels with like stars like five stars she rates them by keys so like three keys four keys etc so this blogger has never given any hotel five keys and so this billionaire's goal is that he wants to be the first ever hotel on this blog with five keys so he hires the best chef the best this best everything so this whole book is basically about liz and the people who work at this hotel and all the craziness that happens with the guests i will say what threw me for a loop which is gonna throw you guys right now is this book involves a ghost and i did not read what this book was about before starting it and so when the ghost came into play i was like I will say this is a book that you really got to pay attention to characters and remember names. There's so many characters in this book and if you don't remember one you will be lost. Maybe. I don't know. Just know that there's a lot of characters that you have to keep up with in here. So yeah that is the Hotel Nantucket. I already purchased five of her other books because this just made me want to visit Nantucket so bad. And what's really cool about this book, Liz makes up this guide book for the hotel guests of like where they should eat in Nantucket and all the things that you should do while you're visiting and the author literally included that at the end of this book um it's called the blue book which is what it's called in the book I loved it I give it four stars um but yeah great read okay last but not least I saved this for last because all of you have been yelling at me Where's the Verity review? So this is Verity, Colleen Hoover. I refused to read this for so long and you guys yelled at me. I don't do well with scary anything, as you guys know. Anything that involves jump scares, like, this book is wild. For anyone who's read it, you know I give it seven stars, even though it was scary for me to read it's about Lowen. she's a struggling writer and then she gets offered this like job of a lifetime she gets to basically write for verity crawford last name crawford funny she basically gets hired by jeremy crawford verity crawford's husband to finish this series of books that verity started but she can't finish because she's injured she goes to the crawford residence to sort through notes obviously to try and you know get this this book going because she has to somehow get into the mind of Verity to be able to finish the series and so she's already on edge going to this house because she knows nothing about Jeremy she knows nothing about anyone right I'd be freaked out I'm such a chicken I wouldn't be going to stay at someone's house that I didn't know so in the days that she is working in this office going through all of Verity's notes she finds basically an autobiography that Verity wrote of her life that I don't think was intended for anyone to find or read. And so she basically begins to dive in and reads all of these confessions, you could say, which is fine. Um, up until the point that she's now spending time with Jeremy Crawford and starts to develop feelings for Jeremy Crawford. Um, I hated and loved the jump scares in this book. Um, don't recommend reading this in the dark. Um, I was reading this in the dark in bed and Loki barked literally when I was in the middle of a jump scare and I lost my mind. So if you read this book, don't ruin anything in the comments, but leave down below if you are team manuscript or team letter, would love to know. I know which one I want to be, I don't know which one I am, but let me know what team you're on, 
and if you haven't read this you'll understand as soon as you read it i promise this is so so good so you guys those are five books you should read um i truly would recommend any of these to anyone make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below again any more book recommendations you have for me you guys can find all these books in my amazon shop down below but yeah make sure you hit that subscribe button join the family and i love ya we're doing great and i'll see you guys next time okay bye